All right, this is our last video on factors for our number sense discussion. Um, and so we're going to look at an additional shortcut for lowest common multiples. In the last video we saw that for the lowest common multiple, we choose each different prime factor that is uh, available. So if one of the numbers has three twos, we keep three. If one of them has two threes, we keep both. If one of them, only one has a five, we still keep the five. We keep each one of those uh, kind of rows and we multiply them all together. And in this case, uh, when we multiply all of those, we get 360. Now, can we do that in a slightly shorter way? Well, there is a way that's similar to our super shortcut for uh, highest common factor, and that's again to ask ourselves, do they have some common prime factors? So I first start out with two, and before we had to only use two if they both had a two as a prime factor. Now only one has two. So I write two. Two into 30, um, is, two into 60 is 30, and 72 is 36. And again, two goes into both of them, and Two would go into one of them. I'm going to wait a little bit until later, and we can do it this way, that when I get here, I now imagine when I get down to that point of my highest common factor, I've still got a 5 left over. That's important. So I'm going to keep that. And that 6 is really like the 2 and the 3 that I skipped earlier. So I can imagine finding the lowest common multiple as being equal to... Okay, a little bit of a mistake there in the video. Um, we'll just jump those down again. But what we see is those five and the six moving down, okay? And imagining now, instead of multiplying two times two times three, I also multiply it across times the five and times the six to get the 360. So the difference being exactly the same way as the highest common factor, super shortcut, but we multiply, in addition to the numbers on the left, the two numbers that we're left with on the bottom, and that gives us the lowest common multiple.